Hey Jess, how's it going? Missing me? Hey stranger, how have you been? How's the new city and your new apartment? Yeah, settling in slowly. The apartment's nice. My room is so much bigger, so I can't complain. But that's not the interesting bit. Turns out this place has quite a history, and I can't wait to share it with you. Oh wow, sounds interesting. Can't wait either. How about we have a video chat tomorrow night about 9 o'clock, is that alright? Sure, sounds great. Hey Peter, nice room. Hey Jess. Uh, so tell me, what's that you wanted to share about your apartment? So you know how it's been really hard trying to find a place because of all the high rents? Well, I actually found this place at a ridiculously low price. And I know what you're going to say, but it's clean, it's really close to the subway, and uh, I just thought I had the big time. But since I moved in, every night I've just been getting this strange feeling. And I looked into it, and it turns out somebody actually died here in this apartment. Three people, in fact. I asked around, and there used to be a family here. It was a couple and their young son. They actually sounded like a pretty normal family. But one day they were all found dead right here in this apartment. And the thing that's even more weird than that, the murder weapon. Jess, somebody stabbed the whole family to death with a fork. Several times with a fork. Oh God, this is so creepy. The killer must be a psychopath. Who could do something like that? And for what reason? The reason? I'm not really sure about the reason. Not even the police have figured it out yet. So how about we figure out the answers tonight? You don't mean with the Ouija board, do you? Remember that technique we read about? Summoning the ghost? How much we wanted to try that, but we never got a chance to do it? I think this is the perfect time to do that. Oh yeah! But I really don't remember the method, Peter. It's been ages. You don't have to worry about that. I saved it in my notebook. I know exactly what we need. In fact, I have everything we need right here with me. Are you sure? I don't know, I'm having a weird feeling about all this. Hey, don't worry, nothing will happen. Let's do this, Jess. It's gonna be so much fun. Alright. Let's do this. But first, turn off the lights. Hey, why do I have to turn off the lights? You do it. Oh, shut up, Jess. Don't be a coward. Just do it. Gotta make the mood just right for the ghost to come. <sighs> okay. So, all I have to do is poke my finger lightly with a needle then stamp a bit of blood on both sides of the paper so that they're symmetrical next after writing yes and no with a pen place the candles on the blood spots and we're all ready now if we ask the question, the candle on the side with the answer is supposed to flicker. So now's the big moment. Let's try and see if this works. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, are you here? Hmm. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, are you here? I feel the chills. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, are you here? Whoa, did you see that? The yes side flickered. 
Amazing. This is seriously incredible. Oh, jeez. Just stay calm and let me ask the questions. Spirit, did you used to live here? That's a yes. Then were you over 20 years old? This may be the young son of the couple who was living here. Ask if he was murdered. Were you by any chance murdered? Oh, I've got goosebumps. Spirit, were you murdered by someone you didn't know? Oh my god. That means it must be someone they knew? Spirit? Did someone from your family murder you? Jeez. <laughs> Was it your father that murdered you? Still have to ask this one, right? Spirit, did your mother murder you? messed up. Now, I have to find out why he was murdered. So I'm going to slowly ask one question at a time. Ah, right. Before that, Spirit, is there another ghost there besides you? Oh! So there's another ghost with him? Is the other ghost your father? Then is it your mother? <laughs> oh, it's her. Someone just went by behind you. Huh? Quit messing around, Jess. There's no one here besides me. I don't know. I think I saw someone. I'm really creeped out. Please stop this right now. It's freaking me out. Can you please make it go away? All right, all right. Spirit? I want you to go wherever you came from. Spirit, are you leaving? Spirit, are you here? Spirit, are you here? I think it's gone. <sighs> Thank God. Wouldn't want to go through this again, though. I can't believe this method actually worked. I know. <coughs> hey, <clears throat> I need a glass of water. I'll be back in two minutes. Hey, don't be long. I'm feeling a bit tired now. Gotta wake up early. I said I'll be right back. <laughs> it 
It's been more than five minutes. Why hasn't he come back? What's keeping him so long? Jesus Christ, Peter! <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. That's it, I'm going. Wait a minute. Who's with you in the room? Just shut up. No, I'm serious. There's a woman behind you. Now on to our next story. This morning, around 1am, a shocking murder of a 19-year-old girl took place while she was video chatting with her friend. The body was badly mutilated with the murder weapon that was a fork. The police is yet to investigate if this was a murder or a suicide, because there seems to be no sign of forced entry from outside the girl's apartment. The victim's friend is in complete shock, and he hasn't uttered a word besides this one sentence. Only he left, but she never did. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you again with another creepy story. Until then, bye!